Yeah, we're on. Cool. Yep. I love this cave. It's so... Uh, bam. Hey, good to see you. I'm Sofia. My name is Alessandro. And we're coming from we're doing a project called How Do, and we want to share some some of our learnings from the journey we had with, with the company since we started. And yeah, we're, we're all about uh, sharing knowledge and we have created a platform for makers and creatives and DIYers to share what they are doing with the world. Um, yeah, I'm quickly gonna start to show you what, what it's all about. And yeah, so how do, it's, it's an iPhone app where you can share micro guides and tutorials on the fly. So yeah, I can show you basically how it works. You just you take a picture with your phone and then you record some sound and make like a storyboard that you can flick through and show a tutorial on how to make something. It could be everything from uh, how to calm down before a talk to how to make a blinking shirt to how to make um, origami swans. And why are we doing all of this? Uh, yeah, we're, we're like started in this feel of like, yeah, but how, how do we share the knowledge that we know? And how, how can we make it easier for, for people to do that? There's, there's a lot of untapped knowledge in the world. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, first one I'm thinking about is my grandmother. It's not her in the picture, but it could be. She's really into knitting. And I'm, now, I mean, all of, a lot of her stuff that she done, like during a lifetime, it's in some flea market for like one pound. And, like, how could it be like that? All that knowledge about how to do something and no one knows today how to make it because it's not captured and it's not shared. So yeah, what we're trying to do is like, how can, how can, we, how can we collect all this untapped knowledge and make it more accessible for others? Because it's now yeah, available and we can do that with technology. And yeah. So we wanted to make it very simple. Um, and thanks. And my, as a maker myself, I've always had a hard time documenting what I was doing, and both physical projects, electronic projects, but also more simple stuff, crafts. And um, so you always had to have multiple cameras and tripods and edit the pictures after. So you want to have um, an app, something that you can hold in your pocket, a phone, and uh, basically documenting what you we are doing on the fly while you are doing it. Um, yeah, a couple of examples. Nils, our co-founder, uh, did this very short uh, tutorial, the hair dryer, life hack on how to draw to dry socks. Attach the sock on top of your hair dryer in an appropriate manner. Max, the speed on the hand dryer and let it do the work for you. So basically, the content uh, in our platform uh, is very varied, uh, from life hacks, uh, this kind of knowledge that we all have and we use every day to solve small problems or to improve our life, um, to something a uh, bit more pro or creative, uh, I would say, like the next one. Okay, you need two markers, two balloons, one paper roll, one milk former, electrical tape. Fix a clothes spin to the milk former with electrical tape. Attach the milk former motor to the paper roll with electrical tape. You can do some decoration with electrical tape. You can now tee the balloons. Finally, you have an object like this. Ok, now enjoy your new milk former drawing machine. Yeah, so something like, like this, um, a more creative approach. Um, and yeah, actually, our community is growing a lot. We just put out the platform, the app, and the platform in October last year. And uh, we had a lot of reviews, and uh, we just uh, passed the 1,000 uh, howdos. We call them howdos. Um, so yes, it's, it's going very well. Uh, and we are here because we really believe in the maker movement. Um, makers are changing the world, it's true. As you can see, most of these companies are here today, somehow. And uh, we really believe this uh, revolution is not going to be televised like it was before. It's going to be in the internet, in the apps. And uh, that's what we're trying to cover, basically. Yeah. 
<clears throat> and when we release in November, you know, when, when you do something that's open, like everyone can, can share something, upload something, share the knowledge, we wasn't really sure what, what's, what's, what will people put up there. We maybe had a clue, but we wasn't sure how people wanted to use the platform. And uh, yeah, it's really interesting now, some months later, to see all this content and all these people coming to the platform and make stuff. And I would like to share three stories from our community and tell you a bit about how they have been using the platform and what they did with it. So the first guy I want to talk about is Carl Bashdad. It's uh, a Swede, as I am. Um, he is doing a project where he goes out to school and try to teach kids how to use electronics in the in the classroom and how yeah make it easier, more accessible for kids to to hack things. And he's he was uh, one of the first users in November to download the app, and he started to he wasn't really like. I shouldn't say that he wasn't good in electronics, but he was kind of new to, to a lot of stuff and started to use how to, for a tool to, to learn. So it's really fun when you follow all Carl's how do's, you can really see the learning that he made himself from like, yeah, started trying out the make you make and what is this and what can I use it, we use it for. And what he told us was that, yeah, how this is a tool for me to share whilst I'm learning and for me to document my own process. And yeah, we think that that's really nice to, to see that you can use the platform for, for your own development and your own knowledge uh, improvement. So that's Carl. The other one I want to talk about is uh, yeah, Lorenzo and also a guy called Adam. Adam is a guy from Oslo. He called us up two months ago and said, hey, we're going to start a makerspace in Oslo. Do you want to come and start it off with us? Of course, we said yes. So we flew over there and, and had an event uh, with the Oslo maker scene and creative people to, yeah, to start off something new. And what they said was, yeah, yeah but maybe we can use Howdo as a tool in the actual makerspace to make tutorials and guides, to have like a physical space in the space where we can upload what we're doing. But also like put Howdo's on, uh, yeah, on the laser cutter so you can have a guide on how do I use the laser cutter or how do I use the 3D printer. And the other guy on the picture is Lorenzo. He's uh, also from Berlin, where we come from, or where we have the company. Um, and he, he, he's doing badge machine workshops. And so he made how do's to show uh, people, like how is the badge machine wor working, and yeah, a way to get more people coming to his workshops. That's also nice. The third one is uh, a girl called Filippa. She's doing a blog called Scrap Hacker. She's doing a lot of uh, everything from like how to make a coffee table to how to renovate the kitchen floor. And what she said was that, yeah, but I can use how to as a way to show my community in a more personal way what I'm doing and put another touch to it. But she also said that, yeah, well, maybe I can, uh, the best way would be if I can put the how this on my blog to, to share it to more people. So the one that's going into my blog can really see my tutorials. So yeah, that, that's the next step for us right now, that you can put something directly on the blog and yeah, share your knowledge wider. So if you're interested in, in trying it out and take it home to your own communities and put some tutorials or guide on your blog or web page, just uh, talk to us and we give you a pre-test on it. Uh, yeah, and lastly, we have one challenge for you. Uh, this is a, yeah, a life hack, uh, a really good one, I think, to not get uh, when it's really sunny outside to not get all the ice cream on your clothes or hands. Uh, so we want to challenge you in, in making life hacks. So if you have something that makes your life easier or better or both, you can come by our, our stand and share something uh, with us. A life hack that makes it easier in the everyday life. We have some prizes, so the best life hacks of the weekend we will win. Yeah, really nice prizes. Okay. Yeah. Our contacts here. Uh, if you want to know more, you can write us um, or search for how to uh, on Twitter or our website. And uh, if you have some questions, any? Any? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, good question. It's on the way. We're a small team, so we try to work as fast as we can. Uh, but if you're interested in, so it's coming in uh, maybe not some weeks, but months. Uh, so if you're interested in like, being part of, of the development process of it, just 
give your email address or Twitter or something and we'll contact you and you can give some feedback on the process. So it's definitely coming. Yeah, you can use it on iPad as well. Uh, it's not like, yeah, it's, it's working on iPad, yeah. And what about languages? So people can really upload whatever they want in their native language. Yeah, sure. But sure. Like most of the text is English. Yeah. There, um, can you get translations for the for people like me that don't speak many other languages of, to understand what other people are doing? Uh, not at the moment. Might good feedback. Maybe yeah, we should thanks. do that. Uh, thanks. Mostly, uh, almost, I think like 90%, 95% of the houses are in English. So I think that's also something like when people start to upload in English and talk English, uh, other people do the same. But we have some in Italian, some yeah, Swedish, and yeah. So you can do it in your own. And I mean, it's super easy to, if, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard to, to make it in English, maybe you can do it in your own language and then share it to your own community on the web so. or something. Do you only upload photos or can you do movie clips as well? Uh, no, it's only photos. So you take one photo and then record sound. So it's no video. Yeah, give it a go if, if you're on iPhone and check it out and come with some feedback. Uh, yeah. We want to hear your thoughts on it. And if you don't have iPhone but you want to try it, you can come by our stand and we have a couple of devices so you can give it a try. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks a lot.